वेलकम टू एस पी लॉक बॉक्स कोर्स वी कंटिन्यू विद द एस पी लॉक बॉक्स कॉन्फिग्रेशन सो इन द लास्ट लेक्चर वी हैव कॉन्फिगर्ड द पोस्टिंग डेटा हियर इज एन एग्जाम्पल ऑफ हाउ द अकाउंटिंग लुक्स वेन एन लॉक बॉक्स डॉक्यूमेंट पोस्ट इन द एस पी सो द फर्स्ट पोस्टिंग इज अ जनरल एजर पोस्टिंग whereby the incoming bank account is debited and the unapplied cash is credited incoming uh, bank account is the bank account which we have mapped in fi12 and we have specified in the posting data now when the program is able to find the customer open invoice it creates the customer account and the unapplied cash which is credited in the earlier entry is debited now we will uh, look into a tolerance configuration so we need to do three types of tolerance configuration the first one is for the employee tolerance employee tolerance determines what is the document and the line item a limit for an employee generally we keep the group field as empty uh, this means uh, any employee to which no to specific tolerance has been up, uh, assigned can use this employee tolerance so in this let us the transaction code for employee tolerance obe4 so let us log into obe4 we select a company code 0006 tolerance group is blank and here it is already already pre configured so we see in this case the group field is blank which means this tolerance applies to all employees which does not have any specific group number company code is 0006 so the tolerance applies to company code 0006 amount per document is 1 followed by 9 12 zeros which means this is the maximum amount an employee can post per document let us change this figure to something more reasonable let's make it 1 million dollar so now an employee can post per document 1 million dollar per open item let's make it just 100000 dollars thus an employee per line item can post only 100000 dollar cash discount that he can give per line item is 5% save the employee tolerances next we have to configure the customer tolerances transaction code is n o b a3 let's look at the blank customer tolerance for the company code 0006 so because the tolerance group is blank which means any customer in whose customer master tolerance group is not applied uh, this tolerance group will apply now the permitted payment difference in this case is defined as triple line in case of gain and 10% and the adjusted discount being 2% uh, being $2 this means uh, in case there is a difference between the customer invoice amount and the payment received if the diff if the discount amount is uh, within 2% it will be automatically credit to the discount account which is defined in an another transaction code now if the difference is more than the discount amount then it will be falling under the permitted payment difference category in this case again if the difference is uh, within the amount within the amount which is 
triple nine or ten percent of the invoice, whichever is less will be acceptable. Uh, let's take an example. Let's say there is a customer invoice of three thousand US dollar, and the payment received against this invoice is two thousand eight hundred dollars. So the ten percent. So the difference amount is two hundred US dollar. Now two hundred dollar is less than nine nine nine. However, ten percent of uh, three thousand dollar is three hundred dollars. So the actual amount two hundred dollar is less than the ten percent of the invoice. In this case, the permitted payments difference allowed will be two hundred dollar. This two hundred dollar will be automatically posted to the permitted payment difference account, which we will configure in the next step. Similar is similarly is the case for the loss. Let us now configure the GL accounts to which the these payment differences will post. The transaction code for that is O. B Excel. So you see, uh, in case no reason code is assigned, a, a debit amount that is a loss will post to this uh, expense account eight triple zero two zero one, and a credit amount that is a gain will post to another GL account eight triple zero two zero one. In course reason codes are assigned, any permitted payment difference will be posting to the GL accounts which we have defined here. Now these reason codes come in the lockbox file which we receive from the bank. So we see in this activity you define revenue expense account to which the system post if the below requirements are fulfilled. There is a difference in payment that is the customer invoice amount differs from the customer payment or check amount. The difference is within the tolerance limit for an automatic adjustment posting that these are, these are the difference, uh, difference limit which we have defined in our earlier uh, transaction which was uh, OBE3 that is we are defining the customer tolerances and this difference cannot be posted by cash discount adjustment that is this amount is more than the cash discount adjustment which we saw in the last uh, uh, customer tolerances screen. Further we see the reason code such as DA, IFL, SP, WO all these come in the lockbox file which is sent by the bank. So in case the reason code DA is there in the lockbox file, any gain or loss will post to the account 880200. However, in case there is any gain or loss and there is no reason code in the file, it will post to the account 800201. With this we have completed our configuration of logbox in the SAP. In the next lecture, we will move into update of customer master data.